how's it going? My name is Lauren May and welcome to this video. Today we are doing another tie-dye video and this one is going to be doing new techniques and on pillowcases and I think I even did a towel and it's going to be really exciting because I haven't done these before and this is me just trialing them. So you'll be learning as I learn which is super awesome and exciting. So let's just get right into it. Tie-dye kit, pillowcases, tie-dye powder, gloves, rubber bands. To start off this one, you're going to be folding the pillowcase in a zigzag motion, kind of like a paper fan. Take it and fold it in half. The rubber bands that were supplied by the tie-dye kit were super hard to get on so I also used rubber bands from around my home just to secure it a little bit more. This second technique starts off the same as the first and folding it in the zigzag motion but instead of folding it in half again you just lay it vertically. This next bit is super hard to explain so I hope the visuals do well in explaining it as well but what's going to happen is you're going to fold it into triangles um, going down the pillowcase but each time you fold it you're going to turn it over and fold it the opposite way as you did the time before. you've finished folding it all you have to do is put some rubber bands on the two longer corners of the triangle um, I secured these small elastics with bigger rubber bands as well like I said in the first one because I wasn't sure how secure they would be I did some pillows off camera and you'll see how they turn out too. Now to make the dye in this kit all you have to do is to fill the containers with water halfway and then you shake it and then you fill it the rest of the way and shake it again and they're ready to go. Now it's time to dye so put the gloves on and you can do this however you want. I decided to put the ink in the corners of the triangles um, for white spaces to be in the middle but you can put ink everywhere, you can use as many colours as you want or as little. It's really up to you because it's your artwork and it will turn out differently whichever way you do it anyway. I use two colours for Technique 2, orange and blue. This item uses a technique from my first video, so if you want to see how to do that, you can go to that video and see how. This is technique one and I only used one colour for dyeing and that was yellow and I put it 
kind of every second gap or in between each gap near the rubber band so that there would be a bit of dye and then some white and then a bit of dye and then some white to see if that would make any pattern at all. Once you have done dyeing, put each of the items you have dyed in separate plastic bags and then put all of those separate plastic bags into a giant bag and set it aside for 24 hours. The major mistake I made in my first tie-dye video was that after I set them aside for 24 hours is I then immediately rinsed them. This is what I am not doing this time. I am putting them straight on the line to dry so that they are completely dried before I rinse them at all. So this is what they look like straight out of the bags. They look really awesome, except I think these yellow ones kind of don't really show any pattern at all, but soon wait and they will. Um, so yeah, this purple one is one that I did off camera and I thought it looked really cool. So I'll just pop it in there to see what it turned out. I kind of did it really randomly. Once the garments or pillowcases are completely dry, you can bring them inside or wherever and rinse them. And what you're doing is you're trying to make sure that the water goes clear um, and so that all the extra dye is out of the um, fabric. If you have water restrictions, you can do this outside with a hose on the grass so that the water can go straight onto vegetation or you can put it in a bucket of water and then just rinse it out that way. But then the risk of that is that the dye that you're rinsing out of the garment will then go back into the garment where the white bits are, which is what the problem was when I did this the first time. So just be aware of that. means so much to me if you like my face and want to see more of it be sure to subscribe the link or the button is just down below all my social medias are in the link below as well i hope that you're having a wonderful day and remember don't forget to hug someone today bye